if you're always using that and then you even get a little bit, three minutes really isn't a long period of time. Let's talk about how to pass BlackRock's virtual cover letter. What's up guys, it's Mike from Job Ready English, here to help you pass the interviews for world famous companies. And today we're gonna to talk about the biggest, or at least one of the biggest investment managers in the world, BlackRock. Oh my God, wow! This one is gonna be a shorter video than normal because we're actually, we only need to deal with two questions in BlackRock's virtual cover letter, but we're gonna give you some really good hints and tips to help you crush this cover letter. And also there's gonna be some more additional things for you to use for free down in the description below. If you like this video and you want to hear more videos just like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel like the video and drop us a comment down below about your experience of BlackRock or which company that you'd like us to cover next. And don't forget, there are now over 30 past the interview videos, so the chances are that we've already done it and you can check that out in the past the interview playlist down in the description below. Just like always, before we begin, let's deal with a couple of fast facts about BlackRock. BlackRock has over 16,000 people in 38 countries and their staff impressively speak over 80 languages. Fact number two, would you believe that BlackRock started out as an eight person startup and has grown in a relatively short space of time to be one of the biggest asset managers in the world? Fact number three, BlackRock's corporate social responsibility is impressive and they have directly created over 20,000 jobs in the communities that they work in based upon the monies generated and donated by themselves and also their clients. Fact number four, BlackRock has been in the UK for over 50 years. They have over three and a half thousand employees and they mentioned they serve over 10 million pension schemes in the UK, which is pretty impressive considering that there are only 70 million people here. So BlackRock's interview format is something that is a little bit different and for me reminds me a bit of JP Morgan's video interview. You have three minutes to record a virtual cover letter and answer two questions, which means you have 90 seconds per question. And the questions are, number one, what is your motivation to join BlackRock? And number two, is there something not on your CV that you'd like to talk about? We're gonna dive into this one a little bit deeper than we would do normally when we'd cover something like six to 10 questions for other companies. This is something that we've helped quite a few clients prepare. First of all, if you're looking for a free short course about how to write a really good cover letter, then check out our free Skillshare course, which is down in the description below called Cover Letters That Get Interviews. So question one, what is your motivation to join? Now, first thing you might be thinking is, how much when I'm writing a script do I need to write to speak for 90 seconds? I tend to find 100 words per 60 seconds is about right. So we're looking at about 150 words and you can measure your speaking speed. Why am I going into that much detail? Because 90 seconds really isn't that much time. You don't have a lot of chance to make a first impression. You don't have multiple questions to kind of pick your answer up off of. And you've just got that three minutes to deal with those questions. So you're looking at about 300 words. So of course, make sure you do your research. And I would say in 150 words, you're probably gonna cover about four facts for BlackRock, read their annual report, read their latest quarterly report, the chairman or board of directors statement, and any news about BlackRock that really jumps out to you. And make sure that it's specific and not generic. Don't sit there and talk about how BlackRock is a world famous company, and it will be really good for your personal development because it's just not gonna cut it. As one of the best asset managers, in the UK and also in the world, BlackRock really does a, really does have a high standard when it comes to the bar to entry. So this is something that you really do want to spend quite a bit of time over and make sure it is a truly excellent answer that demonstrates a good 
level of research. Now for question two, what's something on your CV that you would like to talk about? This is a great opportunity for you to expand about things that you may do which are related to either finance, competition or achievement. So you could be a trader, you could be a poet, you could be a great guitarist. Just choose something that you feel shows you in the best light. And I would choose two or even three things that you could talk about and really demonstrate why you think that makes you um, a bit better, a bit more effective, a bit more of an operator, because they're really looking for people who have the ability to execute. So for example, if you're trading, then wonderful. That's a fairly simple answer, but what about being a poet? Well, attention to detail, ability to read thoroughly, to educate yourself, and so on and so forth. What about a guitarist? Dedication, time, energy spent, and also the willingness to keep on moving towards a goal, even through failure, because learning the guitar is really quite challenging. Now, what I would say to you is that when doing your virtual cover letter, you want to make sure that as much as possible you're not reading from a script. I would say you've run through this at least six times and that's two rounds of three. So when going through something, what I always say with clients is record yourself and watch the video back. It's really not as effective if you don't watch the video back because you can't compare and contrast the things that you want to improve. The other thing that I think is really most useful and is scientifically proven is better for memory retention is to just put the script down and try to recall that script from memory. If you're always using that and then you even get a little bit kind of muddled up or miss one of your words, I tend to find that candidates freeze. And again, three minutes really isn't a long period of time. If you need to, use some prompts with just the bare facts and keywords that are really gonna make your answer be impactful. But don't use a script and a lot of repetition is key. I always say to people, whenever they watch a TED talk and think, how could they be so good? It takes people six months to prepare for a 17 minute preparate presentation. Now you don't obviously need to put in that kind of work, but it's really quite helpful for you to recognize that nobody is good straight off the bat. There's a lot of repetition, uh, reviewing and adjusting that needs to go into that process before you submit the cover letter and making sure it's the very best that it can be. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this slightly shorter than normal past the interview video for BlackRock's virtual cover letter. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and drop us a comment down below and let us know how we're doing. Bye.